What's up, guys? This is another episode of Better Than Static. Um, we are actually in the same room for the first time in a really long time. Which, Lucas, you and Chris have been in the same room fairly recent. Yeah, like a like a month and a half. A month, a ago, month and a half ago, or so. yeah. Yeah, it's like been a while, but like it's still July sixth. July sixth yep. is the last time. Okay. But yeah, hey, we're back in the same room, and it's like the old room. It's like the room we did um, the the late night the late night episode we did after Luke's yeah. wedding. Throwback. That was a, over a year ago. Yeah, like it was a year and two months. Yeah, over. June third. June third. Yeah, yeah, of twenty sixteen. Oh, 2016, 2017. <laughs> we ain't been doing it that long. Gosh, yeah, that's been that'd be killer. But anyways, new episode. Um, this is my buddy Chris. The hola. And this is my buddy Lucas. Gracias. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Should I have said it in a different language? You could have had Olaf. Uh, Bonjour. Sure. <laughs> um, Konnichiwa. Yeah. Cool. All right. <laughs> now that greetings are over with. De nada. Um, but Pablo Escobar. Cocaine. What are you, what are you doing? This is a game where you say something and you say the first thing that comes to your mind, right? Yeah. You guys are so good at it. Let me just tell you. I bet the audience loves it. Quator. Um, De Quinque. Oh, I went the, I went up and said down. Trey would have been the best answer for that. And I'm assuming that's Latin because you all took Latin together. Yeah. But anyways, let's, let's get off of this dumb game. And let's do... Monopoly. I'm going to just... I'm going to quit. Job. <laughs> You are the worst. Corbin? <laughs> okay, let's stop. I'm, we're stopping. Simon. Um, but anyways, so, we I mean, we don't have really a lot of weekly, weekly updates. Um, but there's one thing I wanted to talk about. So, like, it's kind of transitioning to fall, kind of. Like, this week's been a little cooler than normal. And you know what that means? First week of, like, fallish weather is, like, fly just flies are everywhere in my house. <laughs> so like I come home and I take batting practice with a fly swat on flies. Um, I feel like, and this is going to tie into a topic. I promise it will. Like, I feel like I've killed like a hundred flies today. Um, killed so many. I broke the fly swat. But what I like to think of is that these flies are terrified. Like a small Asian town when Godzilla hit and they're going, Oh no, it's Curbzilla. <laughs> <laughs> Um, boo. <laughs> yeah. But anyways. Yeah, so. Anyways. Jesus. <laughs> let's quit butchering my jokes. Like, they're, that wasn't that bad. Uh, hey, you, we don't have to help. You do You do all right on your own. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But anyways. It's not a compliment. <laughs> but anyways, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Did you all see that trailer? It's been a while. It's been a little while since yeah, it was released. It came out. Oh, that segue gave me freaking cancer, dude. Why did you say that? That was a horrible segue. <laughs> Curbzilla? And you're like, oh, I'm going to shoehorn in Curbzilla. And then like, hey, check it out. We did this Godzilla thing that came out like a month ago or two. Well, we haven't talked about it yet. <laughs> okay. I'm super excited. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's talk about the <laughs> Gosh, why are you Butcher my segues. That wasn't bad, and then you addressed how bad it was. Then you're admitting it was bad. Well, no, like it's better than usually when then I go, "Hey, did you guys see what I did there?" Like I actually yeah. had a smooth one, and you just came back and ruined it. Okay, smooth with air quotes. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It wasn't that bad. But anyways, no. Godzilla King of the Monsters. Um, you, I'm assuming you both have seen the trailer. Yes, it's been a while. I mean, yeah, yes. it's, it's, I didn't prepare you guys for it, but we, I think we've all seen it. You've seen it, right, Chris? Yes, I've at least seen the. So I've been trying to do this thing where I don't watch trailers. Yeah. If it, if I know it's a movie that I want to watch, and that's a movie that I want to watch. But you still have seen the trailer. I thought you were going to say, and that's a movie I've watched because I don't want to see it. I was like, come on, dude. It's you can't watch the movie. Well, it's not out yet. I've seen like. I don't know if seen if I've seen the most recent trailer. It has to be the one from Comic Con. Yeah, the, the Comic Con one one's out. the most recent one. It's the only one that's out. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, there was a teaser, wasn't there, or something that came out? I don't know. I've seen a trailer for it, so yeah. Then I guess it was the most. It's recent got the one. girl from Stranger Things, and she's on the radio thing. Sure. 
I don't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> Do you remember a volcano? Yeah. Yeah, that was probably the same one then. Yeah, and it teases Mothra and... Uh, Rodan. Is it? It's Rodan. Yeah, it teases Rodan. No, I don't know. The really flying one with fire. Yeah. yeah pterodactyl. Like, yeah, Rodan's the pterodactyl. Oh, okay. You could have just said the pterodactyl and would have got you. Well, I mean, his name's Rodan. He's, he has some, like, cinematic... Like, not cin- He's made of cinnamon? No, what's that word when it's part... Or it's canology. It's canology. It has some canology in there. Knowledge. Stuff that's canon, stuff that's a part of the story, Chris. So is Mothra. Okay. I know, but like he, like I wanted to, like we said Mothra's name because it's Mothra. I wanted right. to say Rodin's name because it's Rodin. I didn't oh, want to I say, gotcha. oh, the, the dumb pterodactyl. I didn't say it was dumb. I just uh, said it's the pterodactyl. Metal one. Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> I, does, that's Chris even, who... does Chris even know about Metal Godzilla? I do now. Wow. He's, I've never yeah. seen a Godzilla movie. What? Did oh, you you not see the new one? The new no, one? I was uh, I was out of the country. I could have swore you went with us because we had a big. I crew. sure didn't. I was in Ireland when you went. Have you seen King or Kong Skull Island? Nope. Kong Skull Island is amazing. It's really good. Um, it had uh, what's his name? Tom King Hiddleston, Kong. Oh. Brie Larson, and then Tom or John C. Riley, and that was a, that was a pretty good cast. I yeah. didn't I didn't have high hopes for John C. Riley's character, but he did really good. Um, let's see here. What else? But anyways. It's going to be like, I think it's going to be awesome. It starts out, um, the trailer starts out, it's got Millie Bobby Brown, 11 from Stranger Things. And she, quit touching your forehead to the mic. Are we, are we breaking this trailer down frame by frame or? No, I'm just kind of, kind of, if the audience is like Lucas and doesn't remember the start of it. Is that is that okay with you, Chris? I just remember Claire DeLune was in the trailer. Who the heck's Claire DeLune? <sighs> it's a piece of classical music, Tyler. It's in, it's the name of a song, a piano song. Compo- it's a comp- oh, I thought it was a person. It's composed music. Claire DeLune. That sounds Jesus. like a name. I thought it was a person too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who's the composer I, of it? I'm sorry we don't know classical oh, music. Oh, it's Debussy. Is that a person? Yes. Okay, I thought that was a sneeze. You said who's it composed by? Yeah, yeah it's I Debussy. thought it was a sneeze. A Debussy? I don't remember. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Debussy or Debussy one. Debussy. I, I know who you're talking D-E-B-U-S-S-Y. about. D-E-B-U-S-S-Y. Yes. Debussy. Debussy. I think he's Danish. He's Danish? I figured he was I French. I think. I don't know. I was guessing that he was French. I don't know. I don't. I for sure definitely I got don't know. But anyways, um, starts out with like 11 chick from you know Stranger Things on the radio. And it, that's kind of how it cues up. But anyways, like the plot of it seems weird. They're like... The world is at a like it's at a very unstable state with like weather and and like earthquakes and stuff from all the humans doing stuff like pollution. I guess hopefully it's not going to be like a pro environment movie, but like they're like let's release the monsters and it'll put everything back in balance. I was like, yeah, that's how that works. Well, it's like the, I mean, you can make the argument that it's kind of like the Thanos. Oh, I was going to make the argument that it's like no, no in the flood. Okay, that's not. That's, it's a catastrophe. I like, I like that perspective. It's, it's a reset or the Watchmen perspective. I okay. just watched Watchmen last week, so it's very fresh in my mind. The yeah. ultimate director's cut. That's three hours and forty three minutes, <laughs> and it's got all the blue dong ever in it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you get that reference right, Chris? Unfortunately. Okay, just yeah. making sure. Um. But anyways, I want so- a guy named Mister Brooklyn. Or Dr. Brooklyn. Dr. Brooklyn. No, he's got to be Mr. Brooklyn because, like, Brooklyn's a little bit lower class than Manhattan. <laughs> Not anymore. I mean, but, like, back in the day, like... Okay, they... where's Mr. Bronx? Dr. Bronx, to the rescue. Is Bronx high roller? I don't know. I'm just talking about other boroughs of Dr. Staten Island. He's a plastic surgeon. Yeah, he's definitely <laughs> high roller. But anyway, my, I just got, like, tonight or whatever it is. My ears started ringing. Sorry. Um, oh, that's, that's not good. What do you mean? You're gonna turn into baby driver. That would be that would be amazing. No. You want to be exploited by a mob. You want boss? your boss to be Kevin Spacey? <laughs> I just want to be as cool as baby and He's baby not driver. That cool. What are you talking about? He's the coolest. Okay. Uh, he's not very cool. <laughs> what are you talking about? Did you see his moves when he was walking to get the coffee? Yeah, if super you were dorky. Wa- if you were walking down the street. And you saw a dude dancing like that with headphones in. I said, that's a man that's confident in who he is. It doesn't make him cool. I said, that's cool. If Confidence is cool, man. 
No, it's not. Confidence. So what if you're dumb. confident enough to wear a fedora? Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> That's where my argument breaks down. Okay, do you have it? Do we define confidence as something different than oblivious? Uh, fedoras are pretty good sign of somebody being oblivious to everything else. I don't know if that's what a fedora signifies. I don't know. Uh, no, no offense to anybody wearing fedoras out there. Yeah, all offense not out to bash. Fedoras. All offense to people wearing fedoras out there. Chris, you can't you can't bash our listeners, man. I we think don't fedoras have are kind of doofy. What do you? I mean, that's just the way I am. What if they're into ska music? That's the only way you can get away with it. I mean, yeah, because it means like that's like hip in the ska scene, right? It's coming back. The fedoras or ska? Ska fedoras kinda are never do. coming back. I hope they do just to like spite you. Okay, they look like dorks, and I don't. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool. But anyways, back to the like cataclysmic way of resetting. I just think that's a like that's a <laughs> Can we reset this conversation? <laughs> that's yeah. what I was trying to do, man. No. You just kill him. I'm having good segues and Chris is just killing it. Chris is killing it. I am my killing life. it. Thank you. <laughs> no, no you are not. That was a good joke I just had, whatever. No, boo. Yeah, you both laughed out loud. It's not like it was I know it's a good joke, so. But anyways, back to Godzilla King of the King of the Monsters. Although Chris is not caught up on all the monster movies. Or any of them. But do you know like the premise of like the monster movies? <laughs> what you, is this, what premise is there to get? Have you ever seen a job monster movie ever? <laughs> I can kind of put it together. I mean, Godzilla shows up, wrecks stuff, and then they figure out a way to get rid of him. Not no, always. Godzilla's the good guy. Uh, well, in, in this in, one. The Godzilla's in probably the like a chaotic good. He's like, I'm going to do what I want to do. He's chaotic neutral. In How do you know all these D and D alignments? You've never played a campaign in your How many life? memes have I seen with people aligning TV shows with those things? Or oh, okay. I don't know. That. I don't know your meme life. It's it's also not just a D and D books. Like there's, I've seen them done I for mean, Harry Potter. I've yeah. seen them done for Friends. Like it it might have originated. Well, it definitely, it it definitely not might have. It definitely originated with D and D. I mean, I'm not gonna. I don't know. I don't know the history between these phrases, but. I don't play D and D, and I know what they mean. I I play D and D. Okay, you're hiding a fedora from us, aren't you? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's where I draw the line. Although I have did, you ever have you ever um went to have you ever like referred to a, a girl as my lady? Have you called? Have you ever used that? Not in um, a serious term. Like I've done it in like referencing Funhouse things. Okay, like to a girl. You've mentioned it. You said it to a girl. Yeah, Lindsay. But she did she get the reference? She didn't get the reference, but she thought it was funny. Okay, so she laughed at the like what I was doing. So have you ever unironically used like like stuff between asterisks when you were talking to a girl? Like like are you talking about like where you use asterisks to call out like an action? Kinda yeah. I do when I write a script. No no no. If you're talking to somebody, like if you're having a conversation yeah. with somebody on like like in, in text. everyday life. Like in text, because you can't do that. I in, mean, right? You can't be like asterisk asterisk. I move here. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he, yeah, like if you're like facing... First of all, that's not how you do it. It's asterisk what you do, then another asterisk, first off. That's what I said. You said asterisk, asterisk, I moved over there. Oh, well, that's what I meant. I meant asterisk, moved over there, asterisk. Yeah, okay, there you go. That's like if you're having like a conversation with somebody like on Facebook or in text, have you ever like done that? Yes. But... But it wasn't a girl. Does that does That, that makes it kind of worse almost. No, I didn't. It depends like, on how it was done. It was like, it was like somebody in our group chat made a joke. Not ours. One of mine from work, and it said something like somebody made a joke, and I was like, nobody responded. So I did a uh, uh, asterisk crickets chirping asterisk. No, let me see if I can find one I did had from like 2011. What is that? Why do you have text messages from 2011? Facebook messages go all the way oh, back. Oh yeah, yeah. But like, I don't. I still don't understand what you're talking about. Well, if I can find it. I will, uh, I will, uh, t- who's that? Who's that? And why are they missing Why? Me? Oh, she must have got married. Okay, sorry. Um, it's just like this thing called creepy asterisks. It's like when you're being like a weave, kind of, and you're like talking to a girl and you like to do something stupid, but you put it between asterisks to make yourself think you're being cool, but you're being a freaking weeb. It's lame, okay? I mean, I'll tell you that. I'll tell like, you that. Are you right talking now. about like, okay, like, okay, so you say like a pickup line and then asterisks. Wink. No, not necessarily. Asterisk. I still don't like. I I didn't know bops, <laughs> and I don't know what this the creepy asterisk are. Am I old? I thought I had this down too, but 
with Chris going as deep as he is, I'm very confused. Chris is like the meme god of this of this crew. He's not of the, the uh, world, but of this crew. Let's see here. Also, if you're hearing like background noises, there's people working in, for like a new room, like doing remodeling upstairs. So sorry, I don't think our mics will pick it up. But on the off chance I do, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to I'm trying to find what I'm looking for. But it's hard. Wait, do you, can you remember a time when you did this? Yes, because it keeps me up at night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What is the worst memory you have of yourself that keeps you up at night? It might be this. If I, can find I sleep it. pretty good. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lucas and I'm so cool. <laughs> no, not because I'm cool. Because I don't do anything. Like, I do stuff that's, like, stupid and <sighs> stuff. And I'm sure that... I think oh, more oh, or God, less what it. keeps me awake at night is stuff that I look back and I'm like, oh, I did not do that and I probably should have or at least attempted it. That's kind of like, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Like, the yeah. stuff, like stuff you do or don't do that's like cringy that you wish you had or didn't do. Yeah, I don't have a specific example right off the top of my head. I'll think about it though. <laughs> but it's stuff that I don't do that I was like, I probably should have done that. Like what, Lucas? I don't have an example off the top of my head. <laughs> I know like mine are usually like things from high school that I said and I was like, hmm, definitely should not have said that. I don't remember anything from but high I school. But I also, <laughs> like even today, I don't have the best hold on my tongue of what I should and shouldn't say. And also the tact for which I say what I'm supposed to say is not very good. Of course, we've, we've known this because of what all I say to Chris when he went through his gallbladder stuff. And what I said when he had his uh, colonoscopy and stuff. Like, I just don't have tact. So, like, those keep me up at night. But Chris is supposedly doesn't have tact when he's messaging people in the DMs. It's not tact. It's just sort of... My sense of humor doesn't go across well in the medium of text. I'm funnier it's, in person. Yeah, I find that because I like to be very sarcastic. That doesn't work. And text. sarcasm does not work. Through text messages. I just don't like to text. I'd rather I don't say either. I hate texting. for losers, not really. Because I use most of my communication as text because I don't like to talk to people on the phone because my voice is weird. It's just a whole thing. It's an endless loop. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> back to monsters. Yeah. Okay. Huge fan of Godzilla versus Mothra back in the day. Like the black and white. I used to watch it at my uncle's house. My favorite one is like the so and it's it's more of the like the memory I have of of Godzilla. It's the original Godzilla, like the black and white one. And it's just because I watched it one Christmas, like around Christmas, with my mom while we're decorating the tree. And I'm just like, this movie is junk. And my mom looked at me and she goes, "Yeah, but that's why it's good." Yeah, and like it's amazing. What I don't realize is like when until I look back on it, is my mom is the reason I have the movie taste I have. <laughs> But then now she has such crappy movie taste. I don't know what happened. My mom used to be cool. I'm kind of in a similar situation because my dad doesn't watch any type of media except for sports occasionally. But my mom was the one that introduced me to like Star Wars and Star Trek and all the old 80s action movies, Rocky, like everything. Mm -hmm. Bullwinkle. But at the same time, her favorite movies are Hallmark movies. Oh, those are the worst. And I absolutely hate them. <laughs> Hallmark movies are like, like you know that cringy thing that keeps you up at night? Those are worse than like that, <laughs> yeah. for me at least. I don't know. I just I just can't do it. My dad. Okay, so my dad loves westerns. My dad is a big, yeah. like, so like any old western movie I reference, it's from my dad. But now, he like, and then like Rocky, my dad showed me Rocky. But, like, anything else my mom shown me or it's, like, had shown me or, like, I developed that taste on my own. And then my sister, all she watched was, like, MTV, like, <laughs> reality TV crap. That's what my sister watched. <laughs> it's, like, t 16 and pregnant. Like, who who cares, dude? Yeah. Pregnant women? There was uh, the uh, intervention. Wait, wait, did you find it, Chris? <laughs> yeah, I did oh. find it. I found okay. a couple a couple other instances of... So, like, I was uh, talking to somebody about, they were, like, wanting, like, they were talking about, like, how do I handle a situation with somebody making a pass at them, right? So, I was like, so, I, you know, no, I completely understand, but I'm at a loss for solutions. I hate, I hate pissing others off, too. 
Maybe just see how it plays out, and if it becomes obvious of his intentions, just let him know. Let, let him down. And then they said, okay, it's pretty obvious right now. And I went, aha, I was right. And I put the word smirks in between asterisks. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, that's horrible. See, that's, that's why emojis are invented. I don't like emojis. I'd rather use a GIF. Well, gifts this were was, not a thing. This was six in years ago. So give me a break a little right, bit. I'm going to ask you more about this after we get done recording because I don't want to out the other person or anybody. This is in 2012. I mean, I don't care when it was. That person definitely probably doesn't want to be like mentioned on our podcast. It's all me. It's not their problem. I just want to know who was involved with it. Why? I just, I'm curious. I'm like a little curious. Why little is it on Nosy Rosie? You know, curiosity killed the cat. Yeah. Yeah, but my friends call me Whiskers. <laughs> What? That's a Harry Carey reference. Are you reference. on crack? That's a Harry Carey reference. You guys don't get that one? I know who Harry Carey is, but uh, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, next topic. <laughs> <laughs> or no, well, we still haven't. We yeah. kind of, let's just skip. Let's just skip. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for the movie and I will be watching it. Yeah. When it comes out, we'll actually give you a review of what it is just because we keep getting distracted. Yeah. Anyways, next topic. I just hope it's better than Pacific Rim. Yeah, Pacific. I never went to watch Pacific Rim 2. I really liked the first one. Okay, though. so I had a similar uh, opinion. This is why I brought up Avengers last time we spoke. And I completely forgot to make this point. Go ahead. So I had a similar problem with Avengers than I, that I did with Pacific Rim. What was it? Wait, which specific room? The first one? The first one. I haven't seen the second one. I don't really have an interest in seeing the second one. Oh, whatever. Wasn't a big, wasn't a huge fan of the first one. Because the entire time I was watching the movie and they were sitting there punching these giant monsters and I was like, this would be so much simpler with a sword. And then in the very end of the movie, they're like, we're all out of ammo. We don't have anything left. And they're like, oh yeah, we do. And they whip out a sword. And I'm like, what? And then they kill everything. Well, then how's that, how does that relate to to um, to uh, to Avengers? Because Captain Marvel already existed during the events of Avengers 3. I mean, we kind of know that, but we don't really know we that. We know that 100% because of the post credit scene. But, like, we didn't know it in, the, like, so, like, right. you can't call on somebody if you don't know they exist. Like, I did, I, like, while I was watching the movie, I didn't have a problem with it. But as soon as they did the teaser for Captain Marvel, it pissed me off so bad. Well, like, Nick Fury doesn't know what's going on. Like, because it's only Avengers that know what's going on. You know what oh, I mean? He doesn't know what's going on where there's a giant, oh, a, like, a giant circle ship above well, like, New sure York. He doesn't know, like... He probably doesn't know the whole details. He's like, oh, the Avengers got this. They'll they'll get it done, you know? Well, what about her? Why doesn't she... I, which I'm sure, at least I hope, they explain this somewhat in Captain Marvel. Because I was like... So she's supposed to be like this super powerful superhero. And she does nothing to help save the world. Save, save half the population of the universe. Which she I, doesn't. Nobody knows his plot except for I know, the like, I know, that's, people. Like she doesn't know that's going to happen. But at the same time, she knows they're being attacked. I mean, you don't know that she knows. She might not even be on the planet. Well, I hope they explain it in Captain Marvel. Or Lucas is going to be so salty because he's not salty ever. I'm always salty. I, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that was sarcasm. Oh my gosh. Anyway, that was, I meant to bring that up last episode and I completely forgot. Okay. So next topic. Um, I know I talk a lot about Fortnite. Whoop, didn't mean to hit my mic. So I talk a lot about Fortnite. But I'm not going to like, it's not like talking in the new... Um, the new the new challenges and skins and stuff because those came out this week. But anyways, they're super cool. Go check those out. But it's more about like so the growth of Fortnite. Parents are getting their kids tutors to be better at Fortnite. And I assume this is for other video games. I assume. I hope so. Because I hope the game that I really like and like enjoy playing hasn't like corrupted the whole population. This is ridiculous. Sorry. 
<laughs> we weren't talking about you, Chris, but how do you feel about parents getting tutors for their kids to get better at video games? This is why Godzilla needs to exist. <laughs> <laughs> like, I understand. Well, okay, let's let's actually let's let's back this up a little bit. If uh, if you let's do you think people have a better chance of being getting paid to play Fortnite or getting paid to play tennis? Huh, that's that's actually a really good. This is very similar to the argument that I was going to make. Okay, but, but you're going to state that people for, pay for tutors yeah. for piano for for drumming good lessons for guitar lessons yes. for every sport lesson you can think of. So if, are you saying are you saying you're pro this thing? Like you're okay with it? If care. people want to do it, if there's a market for it, then they can do it. I don't have a problem with it. I don't. I, I mean, think it's ridiculous though. But I like, wouldn't do it, but I mean Exactly. That's what I I'm understand saying. the point. I mean Here's people probably have a better I mean probably about the similar chance of being a, a really I mean the here's the here's the, where my argument breaks down is because you're playing Fortnite, you're sitting inside and you're playing a video game all day. At least when you're playing a t- sport or learning an instrument for fun, you're sort of, you're exercising physically or you're, ex- I mean, I would argue that playing a musical instrument is exercising your brain a little bit more than playing Fortnite. But I can see you're trying to think of a way to refute that. But I'm just saying like, I, that's where it breaks down a little bit, but I, I think the premise is still... Pretty the, much the same. The barrier to entry to play Fortnite is a lot lower, lower than yeah. playing an instrument. Wait, say it again. Say what you said again. The barrier to entry to playing Fortnite. So I can't just go pick up or go sit down at a piano and fumble my way through playing a piano. But I can sit down and fumble my way playing Fortnite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like somebody that's never played a video game. You say this button does this, this button does that, and this button does that. Go, and they just they can figure it out by themselves, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. like, but uh, so I think it's so. I read an article whenever this story first came out, and it's not just parents paying for tutors for their kids to get better at Fortnite. It's also parents. I read one article that was specifically talking about a parent, a dad that bought or that paid for a tutor to teach him how to play Fortnite because he wanted the respect of his kids. Oh my gosh. If that's what you're doing. So that's, Here's the, okay. that's why I'm saying it was ridiculous. Okay. So let's back it up to parents getting for their kids and let's go back to Chris's argument of, do you have a better chance of making money playing Fortnite or playing tennis? Yes. Or any sport for that. Or any sport, okay. So I would say tennis is the first one I thought of that had tutors. I mean, you don't usually get a tutor for basketball or for football. You just go send your kid to football camps or or they go try out and practice. I mean, usually, I mean, it's tennis. uh, It's just the first one I thought of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the first one you thought of that got lessons to do. Yeah, because it's more like it's like golf. That more individual sport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, So. To get famous off of, I think you have a better shot of getting tennis. Because because you can get famous on a sport by talent alone. You don't have yeah, to yeah. have an, a, a, a good... Or, you don't have to... You don't have to be a stuff. charismatic personality to be yeah, yeah. good at a sport. Yeah. You can be good at Fortnite, but you can be super boring, and then nobody's going to really want to watch you. Exactly. Right. So the fame, I think it's easier to do with the sport. Because, like, let's Cause uh, let's face it. Kawhi Leonard is a prime example of this. The dude says nothing. He's a weirdo. He's a freak. And he's, over this summer specifically, he became one of the most talked about NBA players of the summer. Yeah, yeah. Behind LeBron James. Because he Somehow. made the move from Cleveland to L.A. I was going to ask Tyler if you knew where he went. Oh. I, I don't know pro sports. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. I don't know pro sports. I know, what about football? I know, like, I know the sport of football, and I know some players that play on my team, the Bears. But other than that, not really. Okay, all right. Ha- have you seen the personal foul called on the Vikings? During Don't the give me season? that was. The Can we worst. stay on the topic? Please? Okay, okay. We've I'm sorry. I'm sorry. down rabbit holes this whole time. I yes, knew, it's hilarious. I knew that would make Chris really mad. I just because it was to the dumbest that. thing I've ever yeah, seen in my life. Oh my god! Seen. But anyway, it was a perfect tackle. They called it. <laughs> <No>, sorry. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so trash. 
But like he doesn't have personality, but he's good yeah. at basketball. Yeah, exactly. He, he has literally one of the best players in the world. Yeah, and he's okay. So he has this, less personality than a ninth grade English teacher. Okay, that's <laughs> that's true. I hope people. <laughs> I feel bad because that's mean, but it's also true. It works out really well. So that's really that's really mean, but like it's it's probably true. Yeah. Um. But anyways, so yeah, it's easier to get famous from playing basketball because you just have to be good at it. Yep. So like here's here's where this kind of develops a little bit more like to be like pro gamers like Lucas the the Houston or no the Dallas Outlaws were at RTX they the Houston Outlaws the Houston, Houston. Outlaws yeah I don't Houston even... Outlaws still trap well the Dallas Fuel is also an Overwatch team but, but they weren't at they RTX. weren't at the, the the Houston Outlaws I don't even but anyways, pay attention to pro gaming still trap but can you name any player no, off of that team not a single one. I can't either. The only famous gamer that I can even mention is Ninja. But he's not even on a team. Well, he's, he is. He's on Luminosity. He's one of their content creators. And he's been on multiple but other esports like teams. Oh, okay. He has. Okay. Yeah, because he was on a Halo. He was on Cloud9's Halo team. And then he was on somebody's CSGO team. I remember back in the day, there was a Halo 3 player that was really famous. His name was T-Squared. I watched G4 a lot in high school or in middle school. Yeah, I watched a lot of and G4. And like he would always come on to like X Play and like have a cheat. Or there was a show called like there was like a cheat code show, and he would all he would sometimes come in with like tips in Halo or something like that. Gotcha. So, but yeah, like Ninja got famous off of being good at Halo. Then he developed his personality. I think he got he got famous from Fortnite. There you go. I hit it hard. You're good. She said. <laughs> he got famous from Fortnite. No, because most people know him from Halo. If you, like... Most people... I didn't even know he played Halo. I think my parents might... I might be able to swing them into know, of saying they've heard of him now. Okay, yeah. So, like, my mom asked me what Ninja was from playing Fortnite. The fame that everyday people know he who is, you are. I, you've not let me finish my argument. He he became a professional through Halo. Yeah, not that's famous. What, but that's, I'm trying to I'm trying to relate the the basketball player to because like because gotcha. Ninja got his platform from being good at Halo. Okay, he got to be an entertainer from getting good at Fortnite and being charismatic. Okay, okay, that's like, but like that that's worth like I'm just saying like Ninja got famous, got on teams by being good. He got to be. He got to be rich from, from like, that's why, like, you know, being famous is being good at the thing. Getting rich is being different. Like, it's different. Famous being bad is at the not thing. from being good at a thing. Ever heard of a guy named Bill Buckner? But, like, of sports it is. Not if you're Bill Buckner. <laughs> Fame comes from people knowing who you are. But yeah, Ted Bundy, real good at serial killing. <laughs> being good at something... That's the guy from Married with Kids. Sorry, I could name like. That's a shut up. We're talking about something important. There are several NBA players that are very good at NBA basketball, but are on lower market teams that you would probably have no idea who they were, even though they've been perennial all stars and they make super max deals and all that kind of stuff, but you wouldn't know who they were. And the average, everyday person probably wouldn't recognize their name. The people that do are like Steph Curry, KD, and LeBron James are three that you could go up to pretty much anybody on the street and they would know who those three were. But how did they get famous? Because they were good at basketball. Exactly. Yeah, that's my argument. By being extremely good at what they do. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, That's how Ninja... like. Yeah. Well, my argument is, is there's many basketball players or football players that are good at what they do and they're famous. There are very yeah. few streamers. Unless and they're on like, offensive line. And pro, like, yeah, unless you're offensive line, nobody cares. Because that's what I played in high school. But anyways. Jeff Saturday. Defensive line. <laughs> <laughs> Would you let me finish my dang <laughs> argument? Like, for real. My, my argument is like, but there are so many good streamers and so many good Fortnite players on pro teams that nobody knows of, but they make a crap ton of money. That nobody knows of in real, like in everyday society or in gaming communities. Everyday society and sometimes gaming communities. But like, gaming, okay, but mainstream society, the gaming community is still not fully with tw like it's not it's not as mainline. So I feel yeah. like it's 
a completely. It's yeah, beginning to be, but it's, it's, it's still, still apples right. and oranges right now. It's not like. But like what I'm saying is, it is. It's like you're almost going like. So why why is it Ninja as famous as Jerry Seinfeld? It's like. Because Jerry Seinfeld was on like one of the most popular television like shows. Like you have of all to like time. weigh it for like what it is. It's gaming. Like it yeah. is gaming. But like what my initial argument was was it's easier to get famous like for people to recognize you from playing pro sports. But it's easier to get money by like like for a gamer. Like like you were saying, there's a market for tutoring because you, there's a market for gaming earlier. Yeah. So what I'm saying, and like Chris made the argument, is it easier to get big at tennis or big get big at Fortnite? Because the parents gonna see that Ninja is making absurd yeah. amounts of money, really too much money. So, I would but, like, what would you qualify as making it big? Would you qualify getting a college? Would you qualify? Yeah. Scholarship? Would you qualify it by? How much like money they're making, or how much people know who they are? Like how you quantify? Well, that's how why I broke it into are. which one's easier to get money and which one's easier to get fame. So like, okay. or like get like established. So, like what I mean, I guess it's easier for a basketball player to get to a college and play on a D one team, and then to play on a pro team than it is for like somebody playing Fortnite to get good to get on to get on a pro team. Does that make sense? I, it I makes sense what you're saying because there's a bigger market for like there's a bigger market for sports rather than esports. Yeah. So when like what we were talking about earlier, is it okay for parents to get their kid a tutor for Fortnite? I think I think it is because they're gonna they have more opportunity to get money through playing Fortnite and streaming Fortnite, and getting viewers and whatever or YouTube content, whatever. Than there is for that maybe same kid to get a basketball scholarship. Yeah, because uh, here's now here's where the comparisons break down even full more fully is because if you're playing a pro sport, especially if you're playing basketball or football, if you're a certain height, there's it's not happening. Yeah, yeah or yeah, the okay. odds of it happening, and it's less are, okay. So there's less genetic bias. Yeah, for the gamers, correct. Yeah. Or is that that's yeah. accurate? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so I think I think you know a lot of people here. Oh, they're getting their kid a tutor for Fortnite. Well, if their kid enjoys it, you're being a supportive parent. Also, you're yeah, putting can them my in. Kid a, read. What? Can my kid just be a, like to read books or you know, uh, ride his bike or something? Like, I think as long as you're a supportive parent, you're in. The, like I think you're okay. Yeah. yeah, but can't my kid you know do something a little bit more productive? I mean, just make sure, like, with do as I hiring, say, not as I do. I'm not saying that. Don't you sit can't. around all day and play Fallout Four like me. <laughs> what I'm saying, Chris, I'm not saying that you can't have a kid that reads and is an intellectual. His name is Bronk Thompson. He's not going to be playing Fortnite. Okay, he's playing football. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying, though, Chris, is these parents should not be like bashed because they're setting no. up. Like, if their kid enjoys this, you're being a supportive parent. You're also possibly setting them up to make money. Like I, pl- I play Fortnite on Twitch. I've made thirty bucks by just playing Fortnite at the normal pace. I would play Fortnite. Yeah, and not he's not doing it like. No, yeah, it's not like my full time. Like I, I'm, a, I'm an engineer. It's my full time job. It's like when I get home, I stream. Right. Cheese on my. Face. So it's like the. So I'm kind of from the camp where if you have the money to do it and you want to do it, you can do it. I don't care. I'm starting to argue myself out of my position. <laughs> yeah, no, because you were like saying, yeah, there's, that's fine. Go do it. Oh and then you're God. like, well, no, I, I don't want my kid to be that kid. I'm like, you don't have to have your kid do that. I'm just saying right. like, it should be okay. Can he just they... practice it on his own? I don't, yeah. have to, I don't have to shell out money for it. I mean, you don't have to. No. Like, a lot like, of these people are good. Like, like Ninja. Okay, let's take Ninja. I mean, I'll, I'm going to assume all these parents are already like super rich. There's no way like a middle class family is going to be like, here. Well, like okay. on the news, that like the tutor was like thirty bucks a session, and that session could be four hours, I think. Because like you can play Fortnite for yeah. forever. Like if well, you're if you're doing it by can. the hour, if you're doing it by the, what I'm saying is if you're doing it by the hour, you're only getting like two matches in an hour. Unless you suck, yeah, depending yeah, unless on you how suck, unless you're going you in like game, it. like game, game, like yeah. you die immediately. You do twenty an hour that way. Yeah, yeah, but you, I don't think you're getting your money's worth because you're spending most of your time in the lobby. Well, you just this is our first session is about landing. Yeah. <laughs> I think. All it's, right, kill yourself. You landed. Thanks, match. Yeah. 
It also comes down to, especially since Fortnite is such a new thing and esports in general. That's what I'm saying. Like it's growing. It's a growing market. There's not really established positions of tutors or instructors for the game. Like I know people are doing it, but for basketball, if you look for a trainer or a coach or something, you can look at them be look at the resume they played for 30 years or they did this they trained these people and this person you can kind of look at it from that perspective and know you're making a good investment into a good coach to yeah. teach you with Fortnite, where unless you are getting a ninja or one of the ex houston outlaws to tutor your kid to play video games which I'm not saying you have to go that far. Even I just don't know the threshold or a way to. How are you going to be able to judge as a parent? Judge who's good enough to? Yeah, like, you, you don't, don't even wanna, know video games. Yeah, you don't want to pay some kid to come in for thirty dollars and be like on his phone. Yeah, you're doing good. Like you know what, what I if mean. He's on like, mobile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there you go. I know, like so the. I know, like from the the new, like it was on the news, and I watched it on the news. The dude that... The news. Like, uh, I think it was CNN. Or not CNN. I don't know. Whatever. CNBC. I was like in a waiting room Fox somewhere. Fox And it was like on. It's probably a business channel. Probably not necessarily a news channel. It might have been like Fox Business or CNBC. Yeah, like whatever it was. Or and, C-SPAN. And, or and that they interviewed the tutor and tutor said, you know, I, this isn't my only client. Like, I have multiple clients. And like, it's 30 bucks a session. And what he does is he FaceTimes on like a computer while they're playing. And then like, they get in a party together. And... Like he gives them pointers as they go through and stuff. So like, I guess the parent would have to like, if you're going to do it, if you're a parent that is going to do this, I guess you have to sit there and listen to make sure there's good like communication with your kid from the tutor. Like I, I'm, I understand your statement of the parents not going to know is this tutor going to be good or not. Right. What I'm saying is I think you cannot be mad about the, at the parents because there's, my whole thing is... I'm not mad at them. I'm just judging like, them. What I'm saying is like parents that would rather their kid... Like some some parent that would rather their kid be good at like academics or at sports. They're seeing that this parent is teaching their kid bad habits. No. They're, this parent is being supportive of what their kid enjoys. Granted, right. it could... What like, if my kid enjoys cocaine? He won't because... But video be games parent. are not cocaine, Chris. They're addictive. I mean, yes, but I'm sure the parent's going to know... That my kid's doing cocaine? What are you saying about my parenting style? Chris, you're not a parent. Shut up. What I'm saying is, like, the parent's going to know, okay, when enough is enough with the video game, they need to make their kid go right. exercise or whatever. Like, I think people are hearing this, like, oh, that, that parent's bad because they're making, like, they're letting yeah. their kid play hours and hours no. of video games. No, they're, they're, they're investing in their child as much as what you would invest to send your kid to basketball camp, and this kid is enjoying himself... And he could potentially make money off of it. Yeah. There's also the counter argument to, well, not counter argument, but basketball camps I went to are free. But like, if you're, if your kids playing high school basketball, you're going to send them to like college camps, Chris. Oh, yeah. I've, I went to a couple of not free, camps. not free camps. One to the, uh, I went to middle Tennessee state for a camp, Cumberland's, uh, which was, you know, real big camp. Yeah, man. At least no. Middle Tennessee's is Division One. Yeah, but uh, well, that's not the point. But anyway, uh, I've also seen kind of on the in an athletic spectrum because I grew up playing three different sports and I knew a lot of parents that kind of really gave their kids no other option other than playing a sport. Constantly practicing, constantly going, constantly just doing that with the hopes of getting a collegiate degree that their one academics suffered. They forced them going to even a college that they really didn't want to go to, but it kind of just happened because they had the opportunity to play a sport there. And it, I'm not necessarily saying it's a 
bad thing if that's what your kid loves and they make that commitment. Uh, it's just a thing that I, I mean, I didn't have that in my life and seeing it from the outside, I always felt bad for them because yeah. they couldn't kind of, you're go. not giving your kid a choice. This right. like, So now parents, you're saying I can force my kid to hate video games. I'm forcing him to play them all the time. I mean, yeah. it just all depends on what your kid, like, Perfect. say you're, like, <laughs> it all depends on your kid. And I think the, the parents that are going out and asking their kid, adopted. what do you like to do? And then investing in that, as long as it's like not cocaine or drugs, yeah. or like, as long as it's a as it's a a healthy sex. outlet, healthy as in quotation marks. If it, like, oh, my yeah. kid loves abstinence. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the title of this episode. Right? <laughs> but anyways, like, it's a good. That's a good idea. Oh, my kid loves abstinence. It's a good idea. But like, I I think like the parent that lets their kid play Fortnite could also like bash the parent that forces their kid to go to basketball practice when the kid hates the sport. Like right. you're not listening to your kid. Well, then they're, they're Stop making me play Fortnite, dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's the thing. There's everything is bad in the extreme. Yeah. So there's Skittles. Huh? Yes. Skittles, Skittles, Skittles are yes. bad. In the extreme. Yes. Very, very Liar. bad. Uh, the rain, you can only handle so much of the rainbow. Yeah. Oh, that's Elton John. And then it starts cutting your mouth and you start bleeding. No, yeah. no, no that's, Captain, that's Captain Crunch. <laughs> oh, yeah, my bad. I love Captain Crunch. <laughs> but anyways, like... Yeah. I mean, it, there's a fine line to everything where it's a good hobby. And if it if they do start getting good enough to start going to tournaments in the video game realm and stuff like that... And they can start going and playing and doing whatever. That's uh, awesome. But if not, then I feel like just playing it for fun is the way to go. Yeah, like but, don't. Like, I'm sure the kids not gonna be like, "Oh, don't make me play video games, Dad." It's just gonna be like, not if I'm not when I'm not if I can help it. But like, I'm gonna. I'm sure they're gonna be like, you know, the parent needs to pick up. Oh, my kid sucks butthole. Like, let's not oh, invest in so anymore. trash at Fortnite. God, yeah. get good, scrub. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Freaking loser. But like, they're going to realize, oh, my kid doesn't have, my kid God, doesn't have what it takes. Cocaine suck at Fortnite. What are you doing? And he's going to, they need to, like, not invest in it if they see that their kid has no hope. Yeah. And we are now, I mean, part of this, too, we're now starting to see a generation that had competitive video games become parents with kids old enough to start I guess training in playing video games into esports where they see that as a viable option. Yeah, and it's not an awful thing. It's not the best thing, but I don't like I think my whole thing is do not attack these parents because no. Cuz they're supporting their kid and, and supporting what the kid loves. That's I don't condemn silence. <laughs> I mean, that's if you want to do that, fine, but Yikes. like it's not it's not a. It it could become a problem. Yeah, yeah anything. Like we said, anything uh, right. could become a problem. But at the same time, if you're just paying for a tutor for your kid to get better at a game that they enjoy, that they enjoy, then sure, would I ever do it? No. No, I would tell the kid <laughs> to do what I did. You get good, you practice, you play. Yeah, look Son, up strategy guides online. Please put down the books online. by Thomas Jefferson. I want you to become a professional marijuana enthusiast. Stop reading political philosophy books, please. <laughs> yeah. I'm begging you. Yeah. How are we supposed to get you a scholarship to Harvard if you just won't stop putting down the books and put that joint in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, parents, you do you. You can gauge. I'm not a parent. We're None of us are parents. Chris no. is like in his head, I think, as an imaginary child. I don't know. Yes, he does. Yes, I do. What's his name? Bronk. Bronk. Bronk, Bronk Thompson. Thompson. No middle name. <laughs> but anyways, um... Not even interested in my child. <laughs> no, it's your child. I just, it's it's weird what if I start asking questions about your child. No, it's not. I've never met your child. Why would I ask more about it? He's a football player. Yes. He's a straight, just I mean, just buff dude that takes no crap from nobody. And he's like five years old, and he's freaking ripped. Yeah. He he's football. like little Hercules. He even got a satyr pal. There you go. Oh, that means he's going to marry a hot chick. Awesome. Good job, Bronk. 
I knew my son was just gonna your be son awesome. has already peaked more than you. I have some time. I got. A, I still got a window. I'm not 25 yet. <laughs> it's closing quick, Chris. Yeah, I know. I mean, yeah, we're old. We live at home. It's all good. Lucas. Lucas is the doesn't. Most, Lucas is on his own. Lucas is the most successful <laughs> out of all of us. <laughs> I try. I mean, I could move out, but we live in a small town. Why would you move out when there's no, like there's no place to rent? But anyways, let's not talk about my problems. Oh, we can talk about mine again. No, we're good. I think we'll close out. Okay. Well, did you want to talk about your problems? No, I think I don't. I didn't. I didn't bring any uh, visual aid. I just I found like I was looking for my high school yearbooks the other night, and just to, just I wanted to take a tally of how many people are either married or had a kid, and I couldn't find my senior yearbook. So I dug through and I found a picture of me from like the summer of 2012. Why did why did my parents just not stick me in a closet? I was disgusting. <laughs> my hair was just horrible. I had bangs like down to here. Like who let me out of the house? Oh my god, I was 18. <laughs> I was an adult and like it was the most uh. Oh my god, dude. I'll I'll take I'm gonna have to take a picture and send it to you. Like and I'm like my head it looks even bigger. If that's a, I know, yeah, Ugh. yeah. Like I made a joke about how my, how big my head was even as a kid, and mom was like, "Yeah, tell me about it." I was like, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, I, I get it. Thanks, I get the reference. I understand. Thank you. Oh, also found out that my, we were doing like a, there's like a weird Facebook meme that was like, put it, like, tally up anything you haven't done, like make a count, like of. Got a tattoo, you know, wreck the car, something like that. And one was punch somebody. And I looked at mom and I said, have you ever punched somebody? She goes, yeah, I can't put my finger up on this one. I have punched somebody. I'm like, who'd you punch? And then she looks past me and over to my dad. <laughs> your mom domestically has punched him dad. in the stomach. Dang. During labor. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my mom was busy, you know, getting this head out. And because um, I have a big one. Because your dad didn't. Delete that. You're editing. You're <laughs> editing that out. You're editing that out. I quit the podcast if that's not edited out. You think I'm joking, but I'm not joking. I'll tell you where to cut it and bring it back in, but that's not going in. That's not I'm going just in. Cut a little yeah. bit out. And just that's like, what, just what what you're gonna you're gonna cut out what you said, and you're gonna come back in on my reaction. Yeah, because it's gonna be way funnier that way. Because that's not staying in. That's not. It's not. It can't stay in. It can't. It can't stay in. I will hunt you down. So back to your point. (laughs) Holy crap. Back to my point is. That's back to my point. I have no tact when I say stuff. That was only six years ago. And I'm like. Your labor was not just six years ago. I'm talking about the picture of me. It was only six years ago. Oh, I thought you were talking about your mom going to labor. He He was harping on breathing and breathing and breathing. And he was like chomping down on a sub sandwich, and my mom was like, there. "Who has a sub sandwich in a labor room?" My dad. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Hey Deborah, you want some of this Subway sandwich? She she was like dry heat. She's like I was dry heaving and like dying in there, and he was just like, Ooh, "What's going on? Just breathe a little better. What's the problem?" And apparently she just Ugh. one swift punch to the stomach. That's all it took. Yeah. So oh, yeah, God. and also I God, oh man, I was, ooh, wow, ooh, the bell. So they were. Whole- I kind of don't want to cut that. You have to. I mean, you're not going to go back and listen to it. So, well, I am now. <laughs> okay, I guess I have to cut it now. But anyways, it was hilarious. I, I hate that you guys missed out on that part. It's <clears throat> way. Fi- it's going to be way funnier if it's not. If they don't know what I what you said, and they just come back. It literally, like a you just have like a static moment, and then you come back in, and I'm yelling at you. Yeah. yeah. Trust me, that's gonna be way more funny. But anyways, um, I guess we all like I've definitely changed a lot from high school. My hair is getting thinner, which I don't like. But like my hair style of like the comb over looks way better than like the mushroom bowl kind oh of hair. Oh boy, I saw, I yeah, I saw a couple of your pictures. Holy yeah, crap! Like, I yeah. just pulled my hair down. And it was like a bowl. No but, wonder I was single all the way through high school. Good God! I mean, I was I was a player in high school. I had two girlfriends, mm-hmm, two, not at the same time though. But I just whopping. kept my hair in shorter. high school. Whole whopping two. Okay, you, I'll tell you, you later. Tell me off there, but like I'll take my answer off the air. <laughs> but like I was the I was I was I just yeah I'm not a fan of me in high school. <laughs> Talk about a, less tact. I can say I had a glow up now. I can say I had a. Glow I had up a glow sure. up. I think Lucas, you're about the same. You've been glowing uh, since high school. 
Get a room. You've I always haven't, been I haven't changed a whole lot. Like I can I can definitely say that I have now. <laughs> I saw that picture there and I was like, holy crap. I was a disgusting Well, I mean, here's pig. the thing. Go look at our YouTube header uh, photo. No, I don't really like to. Like I, you, I, I you look Fatty a McFatterson in that picture. Quit fat shaming, dude. I'm fat shaming myself. But other people are going to extrapolate it to themselves. Anyways. I don't know other people. But anyways, we're going to close out this episode. They're fat. That's their deal. Thanks that's for sticking problem. around through all the rabbit holes and through all the One thing that kept topics. me up at night. What? One thing that kept me up at night. <laughs> The question you asked 30 minutes ago yeah, and I yeah. said I don't have an answer off the top of my head. I don't talk to a lot of people. Huh? That's what keeps that's you up a, in That's a real answer. Okay. I just, well, you can yeah. change that, you know. Oh, I know. I mean, he does. But he talks I to you guys that, more. He talks, that, he talks to the podcast more than yeah. he talked to anybody in high school. Fuck, no, like, like to the point where, I mean, I, I know I've said this on the podcast. At least I think I have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People th- thought I was a jerk in high school because I didn't talk to them. Okay, and so then, you're just like, you wish you would have in the past been able to do that. Okay, yeah, I see what you're like saying. in the past, not in the future. Because I, I was going to say, like, you can future. do that. I'm I'll like, worry about that in the future. Okay, I was going to say, like, that's, <laughs> that doesn't keep you up at night. It's not happened yet. I'm so confused. Okay. Like, in, like, okay. five years from now, like, now, five me years? not talking to anybody, that'll keep me up in the future. <laughs> but anyways, thanks five for years from all now, the holes and all the tangents. Five years from now, Bronx is going to be a number one pick in the NFL draft. Bronx Thompson. He can go whatever school he wants to because he'll dominate anywhere he goes. Are you done? I mean, no. <laughs> well, can you hold it till the next episode? Sure, sure, sure. Okay, guys. It's like it's my bladder or something. <laughs> okay, well, would you shut up and let me close this out? Okay. Guys, thanks for checking out this episode. Um, we have a huge backlog. If this is your first episode, go check it out. Um, thank you. If you have listened to all of our other episodes, thanks for sticking around. That takes that takes a big effort. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but explore all the facets that you can listen to our podcast. We got YouTube. We got Twitch. We got uh, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher. Try something new. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. Tell your friends and review us. That helps us out and goes a long way. Um, trying to think of anything else. That's about it. We will see you guys next week. Hopefully, this episode has been better than static. I swear if you don't edit that out. I mean, you don't know what I'm going to do. I Have fun. Have fun never having me on the podcast again. Oh, my God. No. Have you ever been reading through a stack of comics and thought, hey, maybe I should see what the Sarkham Asylum game is all about, or been playing Marvel vs. Capcom, and felt like you were at a real disadvantage because you didn't know who half the characters were? Well, Play Comics is the show for you. I'm Chris, and each episode, I take a look at video games based on comic book properties and how well they stick to that source material. So, whether you know the comics and want to actually learn how these games work, or know the games and want to know what the hell is going on, Go check out Play Comics at playcomics.com, the Brain Trust Bros Network, or wherever you find your favorite podcasts.